on March 16th, 2021. Six women were among the victims of a horrific shooting in Georgia. They were grandmothers, mothers, daughters, sisters, and wives. They were killed because they were Asian. But anti-Asian violence is not new. It is part of our collective memory. As the families in Georgia mourn and memorialize the lives of their loved ones, we remember the history of racism our community has faced. In 1875, the PAGE Act passes banning Chinese women from entering the United States. It's the first federal law to limit immigration. In 1882, the Chinese Exclusion Act passes, prohibiting Asian immigrants from becoming U.S. citizens. Its discriminatory practices survive for over 80 years. In 1885, 28 Chinese Americans are lynched and murdered in Rock Springs, Wyoming. 1930, across California, hundreds of Filipino American farm workers injured and scores killed by rioters. 1942, 120,000 Japanese Americans incarcerated in concentration camps by our own government. 1982, Vincent Chin beat to death by two men with a baseball bat right before his wedding, mistaken for being Japanese, accused of stealing their jobs. 1989, five Vietnamese and Cambodian children killed, more than 30 wounded, Stockton, California. In the wake of September 11, 2001, attacks against Muslims and South Asians. Search, 2012, six Sikh Americans killed in a temple in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. This past year, almost 4,000 incidents of anti-Asian violence, including murders of our elders simply walking in their own neighborhoods. Memory is the antidote to death. Solidarity is the answer to silence. As activist Valerie Kaur once asked, what if this is not the darkness of the tomb, but the darkness of the womb? Today, we birth something new, knowing it's up to all of us to keep each other safe and shine a light together.